What's up guys? Well, it's been about a week and a half since the WPL's first inaugural season ended and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the season, um, a quick recap, Zena, and <laughs> my opinion on where it'll go in the future. So here's your WPL season one recap. So first of all, I think this season went so well, um, considering it was the first year that it happened, um, and there's a lot of different moving parts with different parts of it. Um, you know, I think overall it went extremely well. The games were on time. You knew where you were playing. Um, there were good crowds at each of the games. They were being streamed online, which was huge for us. Um, and I think for the first year, given everything that could go wrong, nothing really went wrong and everything went went right so i think from a logistics standpoint i think it was awesome as a player i had a great time competing and playing um with a different team with a different style with new rules um so as a player not only playing but getting paid to play um for the first time was pretty cool i think one of the things that stood out to me right away was just how much exposure you can get when there's, it's streamed online. Um, you know, at Maryland, we put we had the Big Ten Network and ESPN3 for our playoffs and certain games. And, um, you know, for US, our games were streamed online, but you had to pay, um, which kind of drew people away from it. But I think for this, for WPLL, having free access on LAX All-Stars to watch the game, to re-watch the game for little kids to learn and be able to see um, the same move three or four times by watching it again and again. I think that helps them learn. I think it helps kids get intrigued by the game. It help, and it just helps us expose our game more and continue to grow it. So as someone who's dedicated to growing the game of lacrosse, having so many views, I think we had 20,000 at one point. Um, was It was huge for us. I've been asked a lot, um, you know, what the biggest change was going from like US to pro or even high or college to pro. And I think the 60 second shot clock was the biggest difference for me. It was such a fast pace of play. Um, super, you know, we, they were a little more lenient with the rules. So that allowed it to be super quick. Um, not a lot of stops clock with rules and um, whistles and everything. So I think while it was definitely the most different and perhaps difficult part of the game. I actually think it's the part of the game that's going to help us get into the Olympics um, and beyond. So where do I see kind of WPL going? Um, you know, I hope it continues to grow. I hope we can get more teams. Um, I hope we continue, can continue to, you know, travel to different places, eventually get home fields and away fields and have a home base for each team. Um, you know, those are kind of the dreams and they won't happen immediately. Um, so every year it's a little bit closer and we're hoping that next year we take bigger strides than we did this year. And, um, eventually we're going to have a, a league that for, you know, these girls growing up and for all of you guys watching that you'll have a chance to play in and really thrive in. So, um, you know, I think going to season two as a player, I'm just hoping for, um, you know, continuing to grow, continuing to get more kids at our games, more people watching, more people interested, um, cause that can only do good things for our sport. So with that, that wraps up our first season of WPLL, even though the New York fight didn't end up on top, it was still a great experience overall to play against and with, um, the best players in the country. And, um, just as a player to have another chance to play and enjoy a game that has been part of my, a part of my life for over 18 years, um, which is longer than some of you have been alive. So make sure if you guys want to keep playing and you want a league that is for you and you're young, that you give us the support um, through watching and coming so that when it's your turn, you have the chance to play. Um, we're all in it together. Lacrosse is only going to grow if we start from the ground up and, um, I can't wait to see where it is in like 10 years, but I'm excited for next year too. Bye. Go fight.